From dedicating your jersey to a dead coach, over having religious reasons, to literally choosing a sex position as your number. These are some of the craziest stories about how NBA players got their jersey number. Some of them have really weird reasons. But Nikola Jokic might be the funniest, because he has no reason at all. From his teenage career in Serbia all the way to the NBA, Jokic has always worn the number 15. Why? Well, because it was the only possible option back then. When he arrived at training for the first time, he was the biggest kid because his diet consisted of one gallon of coke every day and lots of burek, a pastry from Eastern Europe. Jokic was so tall and chubby that normal sized jerseys didn't fit him. So the coach just gave him the largest one he had and the only one that he could wear. Well, that jersey had the number 15 on it and Jokic just stuck with it. But while Jokic likes to keep things simple, Dwayne Wade's jersey number has a deep meaning. Firstly, Wade has quite a religious family and with himself being Christian, the number 3 on his back reflects the holy trinity. But wait, there's more to it. 3 is also the year in which he was drafted. How many seasons it took for him to win an NBA title, the finals MVP, how many kids he currently has and how many championships he has won. Come on, this can't all be a coincidence. Now, Dwayne Wade was quite legend himself, but no one was as legendary as Kobe Bryant and so is the story of his jersey number. In fact, Kobe is the only player in NBA history who has two retired numbers for the same team. The Black Mamba wore number 8 from his draft in 1996 until the 2005 and 6 season and then played another 10 seasons in the number 24 uniform. And let me tell you that both of them have a different iconic meaning. When asked about the number 8, Kobe said, I got to prove that I belong here in this league. I got to prove that I am one of the best in the league. You're going after them. It is non-stop energy. So yeah, this was about rising to the top and that's exactly what he did. He won a scoring title and three championships in that time. But afterwards, people were confused when he stood on the court with a 24 on his jersey. A player like Kobe doesn't just change his number out of nowhere. But the Mamba had a fitting explanation. 24 is a growth from 8. Physical attributes are not there the way they used to be, but the maturity level is greater. Marriage and kids start having a broader perspective. Being one of the older guys on the team now as opposed to being the youngest. Things evolve. In other words, this was a new beginning for Kobe. He originally wanted to switch to 33, which was the number he wore in high school, but it was retired by the Lakers for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kevin Garnett also later said in an interview that the 24 was a shot at Michael Jordan and that Bryant used it to show that he's one step above MJ, but Kobe never approved it. Anyways, with that number he won another two championships and an MVP award, cementing his place as a legendary player. Damn, that's kinda epic. Now, you still haven't heard about a player who wore his number in honor of his dead coach or the player who was forced to wear his number. So watch until the end, but now let's start with the GOAT of basketball. Because I bet you didn't know why Michael Jordan selected number 23. When MJ chose his jersey, he wanted something close to his family. So in high school he wore the number 45, which his older brother Larry also had. Michael got his single-minded determination from him, so he dedicated the jersey to him. But later on, he needed a new number, so he just split the 45 and then had 22.5 printed on his back. Just kidding, of course he rounded up to 23 and the rest is history. Jordan actually went back to number 45 after he returned from his two-year baseball trip. But after 17 games, he switched back to the gold number, saying it didn't feel natural to him. And what's actually kind of funny is that the Bulls were fined a total of $100,000 because they failed to notify the league that Jordan would be switching back to his iconic number 23 jersey. But I bet you also didn't know how many players actually dedicated their number to Jordan. Donovan Mitchell chose the number 45 to combine his appreciation for Michael Jordan and baseball as he played a lot of it during high school. But also LeBron James got his jersey number that way. 
Growing up, MJ was his favorite player and so he got the 23 simply in honor of him. But wait, this chain continues. Anthony Davis got his jersey because of LeBron. He was a big fan and when he won a small contest in his childhood, he used the money to buy a book about LeBron. In the end, he wore the number 23 with the Pelicans because of him. I mean, he's a completely different player tonight. Lob! Davis! Kapu. But while these stories were rather beautiful, Kevin Durant got his number because something terrible happened. On April 30, 2005, Basketball coach Charles Craig was killed from multiple gunshot wounds. For Durant, Craig was everything. He was his first ever coach and their friendship grew off the court. Craig would take KD to the movies, supply him with money when he needed it and provide a roof over his head when his mom Wanda was still at work. He died at 35 years old and so Durant wore number 35 for most of his career as a constant reminder. It's gonna make me cry, so we better move on. But at least Kevin Durant wasn't forced to wear his number like our next player, Paul Gasol. Back then he played for FC Barcelona and in Spain, when you're a rookie, you are given either the number 16 or 17. No ifs, ands or buts about it. So when his first year with the team was over, Paul was given the opportunity to switch, but he decided to hold on to the number since he had a lot of success with it. Ultimately, Gasol wore the 16 on his jersey for almost his entire NBA career. Alright, we have only a few more jersey number stories to go, with players who swap numbers multiple times and a jersey that allows you to wear any number. But I think it's time to talk about a player whose number equals a sex position. See, Dennis Rodman is known for many things. One of them is his special personality. This dude has tattoos I'm not even allowed to show you and disappeared in the middle of the season just to party in Las Vegas. But when his career was coming to an end, he had one last shenanigan up his sleeve. When he joined the Dallas Mavericks in 1999, he requested a jersey number 69. Owner Mark Cuban was fine with it, so they already printed some jerseys. But then the NBA stepped in. Even though it's not forbidden, they denied Rodman to wear 69 and forced him to swap. But another NBA player who swapped his jersey is LeBron James. In fact, he switched his number 4 times, alternating between 23 and 6. This season however, he again went back to number 3 to honor Bill Russell. He was a Celtics legend back in the 60s, having a big impact on and off the court, also fighting for civil rights and equality. So after he passed away in 2022, the NBA decided to honor him by retiring number 6 for every NBA team. This makes Russell the only player ever to have his jersey retired with every team. Not even MJ did that. Anyways, LeBron was technically still allowed to wear the jersey but decided against it out of respect for Bill. But there's actually another Celtics legend who has a crazy jersey story. In the 2022 playoffs, the Celtics had black stripes on their jersey with the number 24. This was not for Kobe, but Sam Jones. If you google him, he isn't even the first person who appears. But back in his time, when he joined the team 1957, he was great. He had a smooth jump shot, which other players first started using decades later. So the Celtics decided to honor him in these playoffs after he died in 2021. Alright, there is one more story to go and what if I told you that there's a jersey that has every number on it? Well, in 2019 Adam Silver announced the invention of smart jerseys at the NBA All-Star Technology Summit. These jerseys can actually change their number and player name. Imagine you could represent every player with just one jersey in your wardrobe. While that sounds pretty exciting, these jerseys aren't available yet, so I guess we have to wait and see what the future brings. If you enjoyed this video, you could help me by liking and subscribing. So now you know how NBA players got their jersey number, but you still don't know about the most dominant duos in NBA history. If you want to know more about it, check out this video. Just click on the screen, I'll see you there.